Hi everyone, my name is Kevin. Today I wanna to show you how you can get Microsoft Word entirely for free. It won't cost you anything at all. And best of all, this is completely legal. As full disclosure, before we jump into this, I work at Microsoft as a full-time employee and this is the product I work on. All right, well, what are we waiting for? Let's jump on my PC. Here I am on my PC, and the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna open up a web browser. So I'm using Google Chrome here. I'm gonna go ahead and open this up, and we're gonna navigate to a website called office.com. Office.com is where we are going to get Office for free. When you land on the office.com website, you'll see two different buttons. One is get office and one is sign in. If I click on get office, what this does is this brings me to a marketing website where I can buy office. So if you want the apps that you can install on your machine and you could use it offline, you'd wanna buy office here. However, if we wanna use office for free, and I mentioned that I would show you how to get it, what we wanna do is we wanna click on the sign in button. So remember to click on sign in. And what we do is you're gonna enter your Microsoft account. If you don't have a Microsoft account, don't worry, they're entirely free to create. And if you need one, what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on create one. I already have an account, so I'm just gonna go ahead and log in uh, with one of my existing accounts that I have. And then I'm gonna click on next. Then it's gonna ask me to enter in my password. So I'm gonna go ahead and type in my password. And you could also ask uh, to keep you signed in. Now at this point, I'm gonna land, I land on the office.com website and what you'll see is I have a whole bunch of apps across the top here. If I click on start new, what I could do is I could create a new Word document um, or I could click on the Word tile right here. Both of them, this one will get me into a new document. If I click here, this will bring me to the Word start page. On the Word start page, what you'll see is I can create a new blank document by clicking here. I could also start from a template. Um, so here, if I click on more templates, I have a whole bunch of templates that I could start from. Here, I'm gonna go back, and I could also get back to any of my recent documents that I've been working on. I could pin documents, I could see documents that have others uh, have shared with me. So what I'm gonna do is let's go ahead and click on new blank document, and what this will do now is this is gonna drop me in Word. Uh, and so it's gonna take uh, just a moment to load, and then here I am in a document. So hello, uh, welcome to... Welcome to Microsoft Word. And within here, what you'll see is you have all the kind of standard functionality that you'd expect. Uh, what I can do is I could add a title on here and I could you know, apply my different, let's say I wanna throw um, a heading in. Um, here I could go in, I have all my different tools to adjust the look and feel. You know, I could insert different things, but all the controls that you're used to in Word are available here. Now, one of the differences is when you uh, when you look at the desktop apps that you would pay for versus the web app that you get here, um, the online app is not quite features rich, uh, feature rich as the desktop apps, but it has most of what you need. If there's something that's missing that you want to see included here. There's a button down here in the bottom right hand corner that says give feedback to Microsoft and you can say whether you like something, you don't like something, or if you have a suggestion for something. Uh, the team re uh, reads all that feedback that comes in and what I've seen from my experience is if you request something, you actually see it show up in the product pretty quickly. So this is one way how you could use Microsoft Office uh, for free and it's by going to office.com. Uh, now I wanna show you a second way that you could also use Microsoft Office entirely for free, and this works on Windows 10 PCs. So what I'm gonna do is if you go down to your search field here and you type in Office, you'll see an app pop up called Office. I've also pinned it to my taskbar right down here and I've already logged in. And uh, if you're signed into Windows, it should just automatically pick up your account and sign you into this app. So here's the Office app. And one thing that you'll notice is it looks very similar to office.com where we just were. Uh, and what you could do here is here too, you could also click on Word and then you could work on a document. You could also start a new Word document directly from here. And then if you wanna get back to recent content, you could do that down below. And one of the nice things with office.com and the Office app is not only do you get access to Word, but you also get things like Excel, PowerPoint, OneNote, um, Outlook. And here if I click on all apps, you see all the different apps that you get for free uh, with your Microsoft account when you sign in either on office.com or through uh, the Office app. Uh, now, once again, this app allows me to use uh, the web apps for free. If I'd rather install Office and get Office on my desktop, so if I click here, 
um, it asks me to go premium and you have to pay money for a premium account. Um, if you're a student, what you could do is you could use Office entirely for free, including the Office that you could download and install on your PC, um, as long as you go to uh, log in with your EDU account, um, assuming that your school uh, has a relationship with Microsoft. And that's it. That's how you get Microsoft Office entirely for free. Um, and that's how you get Microsoft Word as part of it. Um, if this really helped you out and this helped you go in to use Word and helped you finish your document, uh, give this video a thumbs up. Uh, if you wanna see future videos like this, hit that subscribe button. That way you'll get a notification anytime new content like this comes out. And if you have any other ideas that you wanna see me cover in the future, uh, leave a comment down below. I read all the comments that come in and I'll add it to my list of videos to create in the future. And hey, that's all I had for you today. I hope you enjoyed and hey, I'll see you next time. Bye.